Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Thome and Bedroom Producers channel. My name's Cloda, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make a West Coast hip hop beat. The beat's gonna be inspired by people like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Warren G. And one of the most defining features of West Coast beats is that G-Funk sound, known for its use of synthesizers, sort of synth bass, the iconic lead, a lot of it coming from Parliament Funkadelic in the 1970s. The beats are very smooth, melodic and funk influenced. And that's what I really want to go for in this beat today. So first things first, I'm going to change the BPM to around 96. For the drums, I'm actually going to look through the sample pack that I have, which is sort of recordings of old samplers. Dr. Dre has said that he's used the Akai MPC 3000 in a lot of his old beats. So I'm just going to look through that folder and see if we can find any nice drum sounds to use. I think I'm going to use that dance kick. It's a little bit too high, so I might just transpose it down a couple of semitones. I might layer a low, more subbier kick underneath it as well. So these are the two kicks that I'll be using. I feel like a lot of these West Coast beats use a clap instead of a snare, so I'm just going to search clap. There's ones from this Akai XR20. So I like that clap, so I'm just going to drag it in. I'm going to put the claps on the two and the four. Just a nice simple clap pattern. And I'm just going to try and play out a kick pattern on my MIDI keyboard. I feel like using different percussion sounds as well really gives it that sort of West Coast G-Funk sound. I really like that with the open hat, the sort of three hits mirrors the sort of kick pattern as well, like this. I really like that. I feel like that really gives it the sound that we're going for. So I've actually got this hi-hat loop to go with the drums. I just put a bit of EQ on it as well. Also got a tambourine loop and I'm just going to delay it a little bit just to give it a bit more swing. It gives the beat a bit more of a human feel, makes it a little bit more sloppy but in a good way. So the drums all together sound like this. Nice. I feel like the drums really have that laid back sort of groove, which is exactly what we're going for. And now for some chords. I'm just gonna have a listen through to a couple of sounds that I have for the keys. I feel like that simple Rhodes will work perfectly. And in terms of chord progression, a lot of these West Coast beats took a lot of inspiration from sort of jazz and funk. But I also noticed that the chord progressions aren't always that complicated. So I think I'm only gonna go for a couple of changes and not make it too busy. So this is the chord progression that I've come up with. I also like to use different inversions of the chords. And another thing to make it sound a little bit more natural is to use a strumming effect so not all the notes are getting played at the exact same time. I just drag the notes into an order like this so when it's played it sounds like someone's playing through all the notes rather than hitting them all at the exact same time. And I also think I'm going to double up the chords with just a sort of more cleaner piano sound rather than the sort of dreamy road sound that we have. And with that additional piano, I've really EQ'd the highs and lows out of it. So it's just their mids that are getting picked up. So the chords and the drums together sound like this. Another thing I've just thought of is a flexitone sound. I feel like a lot of people recognize it from the GTA San Andreas theme. So I think I'm just gonna add that in at the end of every four bars. And I've also put a bit of delay on it. So in terms of the bass, you can really make this sort of synth bass with any synth. I'm just gonna show you on analog synth. I actually learned this from a video by Low Heat Beats. So shout out to him. You wanna turn your first oscillator down an octave. 
It sounds like this. And then you're going to turn the volume of your second oscillator up. And then with the filter, I'm going to change it from LP24 to 12. And now you kind of mess around with the frequency and the resonance to get the sound that you're really going for. You can also turn the sustain all the way down to zero. And for your voices, you want to make sure that the bass is in mono. Gonna add a saturator just to bring that drive through even more. So this is the bass line that I've gone for. I've also EQ'd the bass slightly just to emphasize the frequencies that I want. And on the side here, you can sort of delay it by milliseconds. So I think I'm gonna delay it a little bit just so it's swinging behind. Again, with the bass line, I'm really sort of emphasizing that three hits with the open hat, the kick and the bass. And now for that iconic sort of G-Funk lead sound. It was actually first heard in a song by the Ohio players called Funky Worm. And again, you can make this on pretty much any synth. I've just used a preset on Monarch. So you want to go for this sawtooth wave, change the range a little bit. And then here over with the filters, mess around with the cutoff and the resonance. And one of the biggest things in this is the glide. And again, you can just listen to it by ear and see what sounds right to you. I'm also going to add a delay. And with the lead sound, I also have added a little bit of an EQ just to take out that really harsh high end. So I'm in the A minor key here. And a cool thing that you can do in Ableton is if you come down to where you draw in your MIDI notes, you can set your scale over here. So we are in A minor. And then what it does is it shows you here what notes are in your scale, which is really useful when you're drawing in patterns. Sort of speeds up the process with making your melodies and bass lines. Here is what that synth lead sounds like on its own. But for me, this is the most iconic sound and the one that I kind of wanted to replicate the most when I'm making these beats. I think we're going to go through those drum kits again as well, just for some more percussion and FX to bring the beat to life even more. So all together, the beat sounds like this. That's the beat. I think it came out really cool and I'm sort of getting that sort of San Andreas vibe when I'm listening to it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below if there's any other sort of sub-genres of hip-hop beats that you'd like me to make. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.